Good morning, my maths group. It's Tuesday here and we're going to be doing our arithmetic lesson um, to start off with before you then move on to doing your independent work of the arithmetic questions and then your main part which is to do with fractions again. Now I'm using the same method as I did yesterday in terms of recording the lesson. Um, so excuse me um, when I'm writing down some of the stuff today because I'm trying to use my keypad to do it and it's quite difficult uh, but I will persevere to try my best. So let's have a look at rounding decimal numbers. Um, so you may get a question like this, round 245 to the nearest 10. Now you're probably all thinking to yourself, I know what Mr Murphy is going to be saying, but let's just go through a couple of examples before I'm going to ask you to have a go at a couple of questions yourself. So the important thing is, is that it's asking you to round to the nearest 10. All right, so what we need to do first is identify the digit which is in the tens column. Well, we know that the five is a one column. In the tens column is our four. So we can either underline this or we can circle it to identify that that is the number which we are rounding. And then we look one place to the right and we, in this instance, are going to circle it to see what it is telling me to do. All right. Now, if you've circled a four, you then need to underline the five, and you know which way you use the best, right? So, this number here, we know if the digit is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we round the number on the left up one. So, in this instance, it's a five, so it's asking us to round up. So, our answer is going to be 250. And excuse my writing, but that is 250. Now the five, because we've rounded the four up, needs to change to the zero, right, for the place value holder. Okay, let's have a look at the next example then. So this is a decimal number, round 156.56 to one decimal place. So one decimal place means one place after the decimal point. So again, we need to identify where that is. Well, we can see that the decimal point is here. And the digit, one place to its right, is the 5. So again, I'm going to underline it. And then I'm going to circle the digit next to it. So then I have a look at it again. Because it's to one decimal place, it's a little bit different to the one uh, above. And we will explain that a little bit um, as we're going through it. So I know that the first part of it is going to be 156. And then point. Now, the six is indicating that I need to round the five to the next number. So if I need to round it up, it goes to six. Now, unlike the previous example, where we need to put the place value holder in there, because that's our ones column, in this example, we don't. And it's asking us to one decimal place. And if we look at our answer, that is to one decimal place. So the number, the digit that has been used to decide whether to round or not, we don't need to worry about it there. Right then, so an opportunity for you to have a go. So pause the video, have a go at the two examples here, and then once you've had a go, unpause the video and I will be going through those answers. Right, well done children. I'm sure that you all had a really good go at that. Let's have a look and see what the answers are then. So let's start with the top one then. Round 1456 to the nearest hundred. So it's to the nearest hundred this time. So first of all we need to identify the digit in the hundreds column. Six is in the ones column. Five is in the tens column. Four is in the hundreds column. So we underline that and then the first digit to the right of it is the digit that is going to decide whether this digit rounds up or down. Right. In this instance, a 5, we know that if it is a 5, it needs to be rounded up. So our answer is going to be 1,500. Now again, children, because the 4 rounded up to the 5, we need to put a place value holder in for our 10s column and also our 1s column. Great work if you got that. Let's have a look at the next one then. Let me just clear that. Now I'm going to do this just above it so there's lots of room for it. 32.604 to two decimal places. So to two decimal places. So we look for the decimal point. 
first decimal place, second decimal place. So, sorry, that's supposed to be an underline. We underline the zero and we circle the four. Now, the four we know is below five, so that's indicating that we don't need to round this number. So let's see if we can remember what the answer would be. So, 32 point six stays the same, then zero, because we don't round the zero digit up, because we've got the four next to it. Now, hopefully you remember that we don't need to do anything with that digit there, because it's asking you to round to two decimal places. That's our first one. That's the second one. Exactly the same as yesterday, children. This question down here, round 45.542 to one decimal place, is one of the questions in your arithmetic starter. So use the video which we've just done today and your knowledge to have a go at that. Best of luck, everybody. Enjoy your maths lesson for today, and I look forward to doing a video for you for tomorrow. Thanks. Bye.